Hey, hey folks, Mark here from Soulfly Concepts. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make, well, this, funnily enough, um, standing water puddles, basically. Um, as you can see from this screenshot, the puddle is reflective. It looks a bit like a puddle, a bit being the keyword. Um, you could probably make this a hell of a lot better than I could, because for me, this was freeware, and I was just like, right, this is a puddle. This is what it's going to look like. This is the puddle. Tested it out. It looked fantastic. So, you know, a real big step up for the freeware scenery that I was creating at the time. Um, I don't use them anymore, so... Well, I do, but I don't. I now use them in a slightly different way. But anyway, that's beside the point. So, what we need to do first is we need to make a texture for the puddle. Um, just, if we just jump back to the screenshot here real quick, you can see uh, a couple of key features. It's reflective, it's darker in places, it's not exactly anything to do with a straight line, so you don't want to make, make any square textures or things like that, so there's no sharp edges. So let's try and recreate this in Photoshop. What we can do is just open uh, a new thing in Majiggy, a new canvas, new, uh, yep, one of these. Click on the new layer and uh, just grab the paintbrush tool, I guess, a nice big size. Let's use black, because black is good. Okay, now my original puddle was um, 512 by 120 by 1024. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of recreate what I did, basically this. So what I'm doing here is I'm just randomly drawing. And the shape can be any shape you want it to be. For me, it's going to be that, pretty much. Just sort of fill in the blanks in the middle here. Oh, it's that has moved. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's get rid of the base layer, and we'll save it as a PNG, and it's gonna be going into my textures folder. Where is it? Where Where is it again? Textures folder. Call it. Um, just call it standing water. Standing water. There we go. Alrighty, righty, righty. Okay, now if we just go to SketchUp, we're going to want to make it nice and large, so a bit bigger perhaps. Eh, let's we'll say 30 by 30. Excellent. I'm going to reverse the face. So this is the top side. The lighter side is the top side of the face, the darker side is the underside. Um, the back side. Ha, <laughs> back side. Uh, so, yeah, let's just... Why am I doing that? Triple click on it, find the center point, and find the center point. Move the mouse slightly, you see the red guideline up here? And there we go, that's perfectly centered. Now we're going to leave it flat on the ground. We're not going to raise it up at all. Let's go ahead and find our texture. Just in textures, it's standing water. There it is, standing water. 
Remember to always name your textures. And the size is 30 by 30. Click. And position. Six pins off so we can get it nice and lined up. Now. 30 by 30 is absolutely fine. It's not very big. <clears throat> it's not very big when it comes to an actual apron. 30 meters on an apron is really not much. 30 by 30 meters is roughly the size of your small um, gate for an aircraft. It's roughly that. Well, it's like 30 meters wide and so many long. But yeah, that right there is the beginning of our puddle. Let's go ahead and export the object. We'll call it standing water. And one. Standing water one. Excellent. Now we're going to open Model Converter X. Okay. Alright, that right there is our puddle. Now let's do a bit of texture tweaking before we go ahead and save it. Yeah, so, we want to change this to never. We want to change that to one. And we want to change that to false. Give us that. Which is wonderful. Bloom, turn it off. Don't need it. Okay. Uh, specular color, we want to change that to white. So it's 255 right across the board. Like that. That'll give us our shine. Now you can also add a bump map to this if you so wish. But it's completely up to you. Uh, double sided true. Double sided. I was just wondering what, what what would happen if I did that. But it just seems to make it darker. Which is no fun. Anyway. Moving swiftly on. Right. You don't need any night maps for this, so we can just go ahead and avoid all this. Like I said, you can add a bump if you so wish. Um, if you do, I'd probably recommend something like a water water texture for the bumps. Um, in fact, let's see if I can find one of those. Um, let me think. I'll come back to that in just a sec, but first I want to I wanna try this. Uh, reflection scale of 1, turn it to true, giving us the shine. And 0 0.4, giving us a bit of a shine, but not too much. Uh, I haven't got a clue how to make environment map, uh, not environment map, um, real-time environment reflection, like you get in Prepare 3D. Is it prepare for ED? Who cares? Lockheed Martins B3D. Yeah. So, nice, shiny, all of the good stuff. And of course, it'll look the part in an airport. So, that's everything we need to do for the tweaking of the texture so far. I will come back to the bump in just a few. So, let's go to textures and save them. We want them to be saved in FSX because this is not of FS9. Uh, we'll just go for essential so far. Let's go for S3 texture. And one DXT save. You can save as DDS by all means. Go ahead. I just always use DXT because I'm annoying. Alright. Export the object. Fight sim. FSX. Essentials. Number three. Scenery. Standard water one. MDL. One FSX. DL. Okay, now that is saved. Everything's all set up and ready to rumble. There's just one more thing we need to do, and that is to bring it back in to Model Converter X. <coughs> so we're going to bring it back in to Model Converter X now, and we are going to just add one final tweak which would be an LOD and uh, a Z bias of one or two, depending on where you want it to go. I'm gonna go for one, that's in number three, it's in scenery, it's standing water. In you go. Look at that, fantastic, <laughs> wonderful. Right here. Let's start off by bringing the Z bias in. So let's turn on the grid. Let's go down here, Z bias of one. There we go. It's now above the ground. That's all we need to do for that. Okay. And 
order to bring in an LOD, you want to click on this here. And we're going to be changing this LOD to... No, we'll leave, it, we'll leave it 100. 100 is fine. Or is it? 100 pixels isn't many. Let's try 500. I'll change LOD to 500. Just uh, switch up to 5. And we'll import an LOD for 100. And let's go for Pappy and DL. Why not? Okay, now with the Pappy lights, we can remove it. We're just going to go ahead and literally get rid of it. Not needed at all. Uh, Shadow 1, that can go as well. And Transparent Texture can obviously go. Giving us that as an LOD. And 500 is our puddle. 500 may not work, I'm just going out, I'm, I'm winging it here. Literally winging it. Might work, it might not. It might do the job we want. And looks like LOD 100 has disappeared. Oh. Let me try that again. Ignore everything I just did. In fact, I'm going to cut it out. You won't even notice. Import LOD 100. Import. Right. Yeah. Go for Pappy. No, in fact, I'm, I'm going to import the same damn thing. <laughs> okay, that ain't going to work either, is it? Yeah, it's going to be Pappy. Oh, hang on. No, Pappy. Pappy you do. Pappy be fine. Alright, 100. Alright, now let's work it. I'm gonna get rid of that for one. Okay, now we're gonna get rid of that texture. Just like so. Oh, shadow. Forgot about the shadow. Okay, shadow. Bye bye. Okay, so LOD 100 is still there, and it's a transparent texture. If we go to nighttime, still a transparent texture. You can see it shimmering here. So we're gonna go ahead and change that by. Making it not a shimmer. Right, let's give a transparent texture. Never one. False, false, false. Okay. Zero. Zero. And zero. No more shimmering. Wonderful, huh? Okay. So there is our puddle. Or reflectionity. Ref reflectively. But sparkly. It's, it's shiny. It's good. And that's an LOD 500, and LOD 100 is that. So, wonderful. So now that disappear at a distance, we're going to do our job fairly well. So, at 500 pixels, or something like that, at roughly 500 pixels on your screen, you can see the puddle. At 100 pixels on your screen, you don't. Roughly 100 pixels. I think that's how they work. Anyway, don't ask me. I'm not a I'm not a genie bus. So we now save as standing water, Muddle. which is brilliant. So that's our model saved. Now we're going to try it in flight sim. Okay, we're just waiting for flight sim to load up now. I'm um, just going to see if it works. Uh, yeah, here we are. Right. So we're already the rock and roll. Um, Already got the textures and the um, library object I created for, as uh, the uh, library BGL I created for that single object. Um, already and in place inside a scenery folder. So let us go ahead and trial the scenery. Where should we trial it? Let me think. EGHI. Of course it's going to be Southampton. Just want to check something first because customize high, yep, very dense. Can bring that down to normal. Just bring my um, everything down. Do you level the detail that was up high? Everything down to the way it was. <laughs> Otherwise, my flight sim is not going to enjoy my computer. Or it's going to be my computer that's not going to enjoy a flight sim. Let's be honest, weather can be there. Yeah. Ultralight, yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, cool. 10.59 a.m. Let's make sure it's properly daytime. Southampton. Actually, let's fly. Yeah, 
F3, F3 a bit more. Alright, let's have a look at an apron. We need to find an apron. Decent apron, that'll do. That's a nice apron. And stop. Oh, my mouse is flickering. You can't see my mouse flickering, but it is flickering. No instant scenery. And it was FS Essentials. Okay, I need to restart the thing. Options, uh, add on global. Okay. There we go. F, where is the Fs? They're not there, are they? Because not global. <laughs> global, default global, add on global. Okay, right, cool. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. So where's FS Essentials? S F S A E G C D E F Frick. All right, so everything's here apart from the one I want. Oh wait, there it is. All <laughs> oh, right, yeah, it's F S yeah, it's S F A E three. Anyway, ignore me. Are you gonna work or what? Where's my mouse? I can't see it. There we go. There we go, it disappears. Which is brilliant. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. Now, of course you can also edit these in um, SOD, S-O-D-E, Sim Object Display Engine, and that'll give you the option to like add special reflections and things like that and whatnot. But um, yeah. For just small things like this, it's pretty perfect if you ask me. Like another thing you can do as well, especially if it's in a particularly wet area, say if it's on a beach or something like that. The airport was built literally on a beach that suffers a lot of storms. You can obviously put these around the whole place. You can scale them up if we go to properties. And my mouse has gone again. I hate it when it does that. Just scale up. There we go. Say like that, and just add to another file, and just put uh, test. And where are we? Is it testing two? Am I in testing two? Yeah, I am. So let's go for test puddle. All right, there we go. So if we quick glance around, you can see. Just like that. Turn off uh, this for now. You can sort of change the next area of view and just pop down here like that. Slightly above the ground, which is fantastic, but as you can see, it does look nice and shiny. Fairly wet. There's no mountains in the distance, so you might want to tweak the environment map a little bit. Might have gone a little bit too far over here. That oh, looks alright, actually. Yeah, as you can get a certain distance away, should vanish. Yeah, there we go, gone. Now, what that'll do is that'll help to minimize flickering at an altitude. So, if we go up here, obviously, you're not going to see the puddle, which is fantastic. Also, ignore those lights, I attached the wrong effect. So, yeah, get a bit closer. Got a nice looking puddle there. It's all well and well and dandy and good and stuff. So that's how I make my puddles. Well, that's how I make them now. For the Humberside and Biggin Hill scenery, I just made them. Didn't have any LODs, so they didn't disappear at a distance. So you could see them at like 10,000 feet and they'd be flickering through the ground. It was horrible. Back to instant scenery. Where are we? So fly if it was angels free. along the runway and things like that. Um, something else you can probably do would be to put them on the grass. Say like that. Give yourself some patching. Or whatnot. Now because they are above the ground. There. 
It's so strange. Anyway, yeah, because they're above the ground, you can obviously place them anywhere you like. You can put them on aircraft parking areas, along taxiways, sort of give a bit of definition to them. Things like that. But that's how I make puddles. And that is how you can make puddles as well if you follow this strict... Um, strict... Collaboration of... I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Anyway, <clears throat> that's how I make puddles. That's how you can make puddles as well if you follow this little list. Um, I am actually currently in the process of writing up all of the tutorials I've done recently. Uh, you will be able to find them on a website that I'll post on FS Developer, and I'll put the link in the description once it's finished. Um, probably be on something like uh, like a wiki or something, or something like that. I know, I'll think of something. I'll think of something. But yeah, I'm in the process of writing them all up. There'll be downloadable version and a online version as well. So look forward to that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. This has been quite a long one, I am aware. Um, hope it hasn't been too boring for you. If you want to see anything else, just by all means let me know. I am completely open to suggestions for tutorials because, like I said in the previous video, I'm running out of ideas very quickly. In fact, I'd like to thank the person that suggested this one. Forget who you are. Still. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. My name is Mark from Soulful Icons. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I can't stress the subscription enough. Um, if you want to keep up with all our updates, definitely subscribe. So, from me and everyone else, including myself, which is just me, I bid you so long. Until next time, my friends. Yes.